Yeah, does this make sense? Yeah, it is. It, it, uh, it actually came pretty easy. Um, there's not a lot of trickery to it. Um, I was trying to get through the intro. That uh, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I know what he's doing, but I can't. It sounds to me like he's just alternate. He's, he's just doing this in the intro. Yeah. You know, it's but, probably the second one. He probably does those from B minor to A to D, not the B minor to G to A. Oh, uh, okay. Because that's the one that kind of like leaves you back on D. And I did listen to this. I ended up doing a lesson on this uh, yeah, the last time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just went up today, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, one thing I decided to do after I listened to it more carefully, two things that, that, that are in there, is that second chord, rather than being D major 7, mm -hmm. is better off being leaving the first string open. I think we, we touched on that a little bit, I think, okay. last week. Okay. And, and, um, which, and there's a bunch of different names we can call it, but a simple way of thinking about it really is it's more of an A chord mm -hmm. with the D in the bass. See that? So, so it, it's it just leaving the fourth string open yeah, yeah. for an A chord. Mm -hmm. But fingering wise, just moving your second finger to there, leaving your first finger where it is. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little bit more dissonant sound than the major seven. So, so start subbing that in there. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. it's, it's not any more difficult change. Um, but also after a little bit more work, found out or figured out a much better way to get this B flat thing to happen. Um, Okay, rather than trying to get this, remember we were trying to talk about having the first the first string open at the yeah, same time yeah. and stuff. And um, it's really just using an F shape of a chord. Play F. And take your first finger and instead of the bar, just play the second string. Yeah. And we may have done that before with some, with some chords, I can't remember. And um, and then move it up to the sixth fret to make it a B flat. So take your first finger all the way to the sixth fret. One more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and avoid the sixth string, or get it with your thumb. This is the time where we were using the thumb wrap could, could be, would be the bass note you'd, you'd want. So this would be a time, this is what Neil Young does in here. You can absolutely tell from listening to him that that's the chord he plays. So he comes, he comes out of the D here and goes to this and then goes to the this, including using his thumb in there for that bass note. So you can mess around with that, um, and again, it's, it's just... It's B flat. If you just took an F chord, you move it to the sixth fret to make it B flat. Okay. Okay. But then it's reduced. It's to use leaving the first string open. And if you can get the sixth string with your thumb, fine. If you can't, just make sure not to play it. It'll sound fine like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's all. It's that's the. So that's the only two things that having put a little bit more work into it after after we messed with it.